Hey YouTube, this is Tom at TM Aquatics and I hope everyone is having a great day. In today's video, it's a fall fish room tour and I'm going to show you everything that I'm keeping in each one of my 28 tanks here in the fish room. So stick around and check this out. All right, YouTube, like I normally do with these fish room tours, we're going to start out here with this 75-gallon tank in the rec room here. Now, I'm not going to talk about any plans for any fish that I have, whether or not I'm going to be breeding them, getting rid of them, making changes to the tanks, anything like that. Simply going to highlight the fish that I'm currently keeping in each one of these tanks, and we'll go from there. Now, this is my L494 Pleco tank, and uh, I have a group of eight of them in here. These came from Eric Bodrock. They are a Pacoltia, very uh, closely related to the L134 Leopard Frog Pleco. I do have uh, four Pandagaras in here, and these things just do an amazing job at cleaning the algae. This tank has been algae free ever since I added them, along with a couple of true Siamese algae eaters. With that being said, there was one darting around in the back there. Was, uh, I do have two of them in this tank. I also have my school of 14 Hemogrammus coruleus, the pink Carulian tetra. Some people refer to it as the watermelon tetra. I also have eight cherry barbs in here because they're cheap and they're colorful. I do have two super red bushy nose plecos in here. I had four, just removed a couple of them. And for this tank, that is all I'm currently keeping in this 75 gallon tank. Alright, over here is my 120 gallon red Severum tank and this tank is also out in my rec room. I have six large red spot Severums. I also have one blue-eyed ancestress male in here. I have three large clown loaches. They're about maybe three and a half inches. And then I do have some other plecos in here. Um, right back there is an L114 cactus pleco. He's about five inches. There's my L124 orange flame para pleco. And then down underneath here, we're not going to be able to see him, but I have an L114 uh, sunshine pleco, a scobie ancestress. And then somewhere in there is also a gold nugget pleco. But this is my 120 gallon red serum tank. All right, so back here in the fish room, this is a 20 gallon long grow out tank. I currently have eight L236 plecos in here along with four L46 zebras. See the tail of one of the zebras right there and a couple of L236s, another 236. Let's see a couple more back there and I believe there's a couple of zebras back there too in that pile behind the sponge filter. All right, this here is a 20 gallon long where I keep my cull shrimp along with a group of red coral pencil fish. Right over here is a male and female and they've been spawning for the past five or 10 minutes. Ducking into the subwasser tang, laying some eggs. There's a total of seven red coral pencil fish in here. And the cull shrimp, they come from my Bloody Marys, my Blue Dreams, and there's a couple of yellows in here. All right, this tank right here is a 29 gallon tank where I keep my pair of super red bushy nose plecos. I also have two different types of Corydoras in here. These were recently removed from the red Severum tank and placed in this tank. I have six Corydora side cries and they are the lighter ones with the full black band across their heads. And then there are five Corydoras agazizis in here. This is my 33 long, and this is where I keep my group of adult zebra plecos. All right, so this tank here is a 55 gallon tank. This is where I keep my group of 11 wild caught L134 leopard frog plecos, and this is an active breeding colony. 
I also keep a small group of Praycox rainbows in here as dither fish. There's maybe eight or nine, something like that. Then up in the fry box, I do have uh, four juvenile L134s from a spawn that took place about five or six weeks ago. All right, this tank here is a 40 gallon long, and this is where I keep my group of L333 plecos. There's a total of 12 in here, and they have not started spawning yet. There is also a group of uh, dwarf neon or praycox rainbows. You can see them back behind there. Again, there's probably nine or 10 in here. All of those were spawned and growing out here in the fish room. 40 gallon long and the group of 12 L333s. All right, and in this standard 20 gallon tank, I have a bunch of my black bar endlers still remaining. I wasn't able to get rid of all of them at our recent club auction. I also have a group of super red bushy nose plecos in here that uh, are up for sale on Get Gills, as well as a bunch of uh, blue-eyed lemon bushy nose plecos. This tank next to them, there are about 25 Lamprologus ocelatus shell dwellers in here. These are the ocelatus gold. They're about one inch in total length. Next to them is a group of 11 Lamprologus ocelatus gold shell dwellers. These are a little larger. A couple of blue-eyed lemon and citrus in each one of these tanks as well for cleanup crew. This group I'm keeping for myself to start a new uh, breeding colony with. And this tank here, in addition to a bunch of snails, this is where I have a bunch of my green laser Corydoras fry, or juveniles I should say. They're about, uh, most of them are about one inch. There's a couple of uh, smaller ones in here. These guys are doing great. There's about 70 of them still remaining in this tank. Then in this tank here, I did get rid of all of my red guppies at our recent club auction. I have a bunch of blue-eyed lemon and citrus, and then a smaller uh, batch of uh, smaller super red bushy nose plecos. And then up in the fry box, there's another 40 or so these are super reds, the super red bushy nose. This is a 20 gallon long, and this is where I keep my group of yellow, golden back, yellow neocaridinas. Not too many remaining in this group, but they are coming back, so you can see quite a few buried females in here. This here is also a 20 gallon long, and this is where I keep my group of tangerine tigers a very hardy and prolific caridina species that likes water parameters a little closer to the neocaridinas. Several hundred in this tank. This here's another standard 20 gallon tank and this is where I keep my group of Bloody Mary neocaridinas. All right, this here's another standard 20 gallon tank and this is where I have my blue shrimp. These were blue dreams, but the line really hasn't been worked too much. So you have all different uh, shades and qualities in here. Definitely needs work, but uh, I'm not a shrimp guy. I just keep them in the shrimp room because they're easy and they're fun to watch. All right, this here is a dirty 40 breeder. This is where I have some Lamprologus ocelatus gold. I have a breeding adult trio in here. There's one of the females right here. Another female in the back and here is the male. And as you can see there are a bunch of fry still in here. I just haven't had a tank to move them into so they've kind of been growing out in this 40 breeder with the adults. I believe there are 13 or 14 of them in here. All right, and in this 40 breeder is where I keep my breeding colony of CW009 Green Laser Corydoras. 
see there's one in the back there. Most of them are underneath the driftwood or hiding out in rocks and caves. Absolutely beautiful Corydoras. I do have a bunch of pond snails in here and recently added some assassins to hopefully uh, help out with that. I do have some blue-eyed bushy-nosed plecos in here to help with cleanup crew as well. There's a total of four of them in here. And then up here in this fry box, there are about 50 to 60 green laser Corydoras fry, and these are three or four days old now. Three to four days old is all. But there's about 50 to 60 in here actually. All right, and this tank down here is a 40 gallon breeder. This is a grow out tank for a bunch of L134 leopard frog plecos. And these were spawned here in the fish room this past season. There are 25 to 30 in this tank. These are not for sale or available. Most of these I'm keeping for myself. And I hope to put them in a much larger tank some point here in the future. But we'll save that discussion for another video at another time. All right, this is a 75 gallon tank. I currently have two pair of Philippine Blue Platinum Pearl Scale Angels in this tank. I do have a trio of blue eyed bushy nosed plecos in here. And they just spawned for me last night. The male is in there fanning on some uh, eggs. I have some dwarf neon praycox rainbows in here. These were spawned and raised in the fish room here at TM Aquatics. There's about a dozen of them in here. And then I have seven sultan plecos. That's a 75 gallon tank. This here is a 75 gallon tank where I keep my group of L397 plecos. I also have some dither fish in here, several different types of tetras. I have some rummy nose tetras, some green neons, and some ember tetras. I think the embers were hanging out over here. I currently have 12 L397s in here, eight adults and four juveniles. All right, and over here on the newest rack in the fish room, I have two 10 gallon tanks. Each one has a little bit of java moss and a male super red bushy nose pleco. I also have a five gallon tank on this rack that currently has six juvenile Philippine blue platinum pearl scale angelfish fry. This here is another 40 breeder, and I currently keep my group of eight L260 Queen Arabesque Plecos in here. And we're almost done. We just have these two last 40 breeders. The tank on the left, this has my group of 14 CW 49s. And finally, this last 40 breeder now has a group of 17 wild caught Corydoras equus. All right, YouTube, well, there you have it. All 28 tanks here at TM Aquatics and the fish I'm keeping in each one. 
I'd really like to hear from everybody on what your favorite fish is that I'm currently keeping here in the fish room. Me personally, definitely still my L134 Leopard Frog Plecos. But I gotta tell you, this group of 17 wild caught Corydoras Equus, a close second. Anyways, I greatly appreciate everybody taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them down below. Hit the like button on your way out, and if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it again. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, we'll catch you all later.